Now in order to control the LED in the circuit I showed you just a bit ago, I can utilize the LED class supplied by the Johnny5 module, which contains a handful of functions to toggle the LED on and off, make it blink, pulse, and so on. I will set up a new variable inside the callback function here to hold a reference to a new LED object, which I'll just call LED. Clever, I know. And then I'll assign it a new instance of an LED object by calling new5.led. The LED constructor takes a couple of different types of arguments, but the only thing I'm going to pass to it is the number of the pin to which the LED is connected, so that this object has knowledge of where the physical LED resides. If you recall from the circuit diagram, it depicted a jumper hooked up to pin number 11, so that is the number I'm going to pass to the constructor here. Now the LED is not an overly complex component, so there isn't a whole heck of a lot we can do with it. However, Johnny5 does supply us with a handful of functions we can call to turn the LED on and off, make it blink, and even make it fade in and out. These functions are all called on the LED object I just instantiated, so let's start with turning it on by calling the aptly named on function. So now, when the simple application loads and the board emits the ready event, the LED attached to pin number 11 should turn on. And I'll go ahead and pull up the camera window again so you can see it in action. Now in order to execute the application, I will switch back over to PowerShell to tell Node.js to execute my new Arduino LED script file. And there's a little bit of output from Johnny5 as it connects, and you can see the LED is on. Neato, gang! Now while I'm here, I do want to point out that by default, Johnny5 loads a REPL, which stands for Read Eval Print Loop, that allows you to interact with components on the fly without having to modify the source code. I'm not going to utilize it right now, but we'll come back to it in just a moment. And I can just hit Control c twice to quit. And then I'm returned to the normal command prompt. Now if you look at the camera window here, you can see that the LED is still turned on, even though I terminated the application. I'm not sure if this is true for all components, but typically, whatever state the component is in when you shut down the application is the same state in which it will remain until the power source is removed, you start a new application, or you feed it new commands, so just keep that in mind. Now I believe some other frameworks, like Cylon.js, if I remember correctly, return the components to their resting state before terminating, but Johnny5 leaves them how they are. Alright, now that we know how to turn it on, let's turn the LED back off. I will leave the on command in place, and we'll have the LED turn off after, say, 3 seconds. In order to do this, I will utilize the built-in JavaScript set timeout function, which takes in a callback function to execute, as well as a time period in milliseconds. Inside the callback, I will have it call the off function on the LED object. And then I'll pass in a value of 3000 milliseconds for the time period. Alright, let's see what this does. I'll run the same node command to kick off the application. And you can see the LED turn on. And it's off again. Solid. Now of course those are just a couple of the basic commands you can use for the LED. So let's see how we can do some more interesting things with this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> 